What's up everyone, welcome to FilmSpot, and today we will be talking about best upcoming movies. Universal Pictures has officially announced the title and details of the upcoming Jurassic World sequel. Directed by Gareth Edwards, known for Rogue One, and penned by David Cope, the original Jurassic Park writer, the film will be titled Jurassic World Rebirth, and is set to premiere in theaters on July 2, 2025. The official synopsis reveals an intriguing plot. Five years after the events of Jurassic World Dominion, the planet's ecology has become largely uninhabitable for dinosaurs. The remaining creatures are confined to isolated equatorial environments that mimic their original habitats. The story centers on three colossal dinosaurs within this tropical biosphere, which hold the key to a groundbreaking drug with life-saving potential for humanity. Scarlett Johansson stars as Zora Bennett, a highly skilled covert operations expert leading a covert mission to extract genetic material from the three most massive dinosaurs. Her mission takes a dramatic turn when her team encounters a civilian family stranded on an island after a boating accident caused by aggressive aquatic dinosaurs. Together they stumble upon a dark and shocking secret hidden from the world for decades. The cast includes recent Oscar winner Mahershala Ali as Duncan Kincaid, Zora's trusted team leader, Jonathan Bailey as paleontologist Dr. Henry Loomis, Rupert Friend as Martin Krebs, a representative of Big Pharma, and Manuel Garcia Rolfo as Ruben Delgado, the shipwrecked family's father. Jurassic World Rebirth promises to bring thrilling new adventures to the beloved franchise. Excitement is building as production kicks off in New Zealand for the next Predator movie, titled Badlands. Though initially shrouded in mystery under the working title Backpack, it's now clear that Badlands is the next chapter in the legendary Predator franchise. Directed by Dan Trachtenberg, who previously helmed the acclaimed Prey, and co-written with Patrick Azen, this installment promises a fresh and thrilling narrative. The story reportedly centers on two sisters, each pursuing divergent paths in a high-stakes survival scenario, adding a new dynamic to the series. Announced in February 2024, Badlands follows the massive success of Prey, which revitalized the franchise with its gripping, action-packed prequel. Although Badlands is not a direct sequel, it is expected to be set sometime in the future, expanding the Predator universe in new and unexpected ways. The collaboration between 20th Century Studios and Trachtenberg suggests that Badlands is just the beginning of a new era for the franchise. As production moves forward, fans are eagerly awaiting further details, including whether Badlands will have a theatrical release or debut on Hulu like Prey. One thing is certain, Badlands is poised to be one of the most exciting entries in the Predator series. Barry Keoghan is the latest star to join Netflix's upcoming Peaky Blinders movie, set to continue the story of the iconic crime family led by Thomas Shelby. He'll be starring alongside Killian Murphy, who reprises his role as Tommy Shelby and Rebecca Ferguson. The movie, written by series creator Stephen Knight and directed by Tom Harper, is described as an explosive chapter in the Peaky Blinders saga, with all plot details tightly under wraps. Kyogen's addition to the cast is particularly exciting given his recent accolades, including nominations and wins for his performances in Saltburn and The Banshees of Inisherin. The movie will reunite Harper with the original creative team, including Murphy and Knight, who are all thrilled to bring this new chapter of Peaky Blinders to life. Harper, who directed episodes in the first season, expressed his excitement, saying that reuniting with the cast and crew felt like bringing the Peaky Blinders family back together. Murphy, now also an Oscar winner for his role in Oppenheimer, hinted that Tommy Shelby's story is far from over, setting the stage for what is sure to be a thrilling and explosive cinematic experience. Production details are still under wraps, but the anticipation continues to build as fans eagerly await this continuation of the beloved series. In 2013, Guillermo del Toro and screenwriter Travis Beecham brought us Pacific Rim, a thrilling spectacle where colossal monsters clashed with massive robots piloted by dynamic duos. The film's success led to a sequel, Pacific Rim Uprising, in 2018, and a two-season anime, Pacific Rim The Black, on Netflix. However, the franchise has largely been on hold. Until now, Legendary Entertainment has just announced plans for an exciting new addition to the Pacific Rim universe, a prequel series. According to Variety, this upcoming series will explore the origins of the epic battles depicted in the original film. 
The story will delve into the backstory of the kaiju, the giant alien monsters that emerged through a dimensional portal beneath the Pacific Ocean, and the creation of the Jaegers, the enormous mechs piloted by brave crews linked by a neural interface. Eric Heiserer and Carmen Lewis are spearheading the development of this prequel. Heiserer, renowned for his work on Arrival, Bird Box, and Netflix's Shadow and Bone, will bring his acclaimed storytelling skills to the project. The prequel series is currently in development, and while it does not yet have a network or streaming service, it marks the beginning of an exciting new chapter for the Pacific Rim saga. Stay tuned for more updates as this thrilling project unfolds. Hold on to your seats, movie fans, because Columbia Pictures is reviving a classic with a twist. The 1997 cult hit Anaconda is getting a reboot, and it's shaping up to be an exhilarating mix of horror and comedy. With Jack Black and Paul Rudd reportedly in talks for key roles, this reimagining is set to deliver laughs and thrills. You remember the original Anaconda, right? The film threw us into the Amazon jungle with Jennifer Lopez, Owen Wilson, Ice Cube, and John Voight facing off against the world's largest and deadliest snake. The movie was a surprise hit, grossing $136 million worldwide and spawning sequels that ranged from thrilling to delightfully cheesy, including a memorable crossover with Lake Placid. Columbia Pictures is breathing new life into the franchise with Black and Rudd in the mix. Black, known for Kung Fu Panda and School of Rock, might play a former director turned wedding videographer, while Rudd, fresh from Ghostbusters The Ice Cold Empire, could portray a struggling actor. Together, they'll tackle a remake of their favorite childhood film, only to confront giant snakes, natural disasters, and dangerous criminals in the rainforest. Prepare for a wild ride as Black and Rudd face off against a slithering monster in the jungle. This reboot of Anaconda is sure to be a hilarious, action-packed adventure. Keep an eye out for updates and get ready for a jungle romp with some serious bite. Get ready for a thrilling return to the Marvel Universe as James Spader is set to reprise his role as the iconic robotic villain Ultron in Marvel Studios' upcoming Untitled Vision series. This highly anticipated follow-up to the critically acclaimed WandaVision will see Spader slip back into the metal skin of Ultron, a role he first took on in 2015's Avengers Age of Ultron. Paul Bettany will also be back, reprising his role as Vision, the android who captured hearts with his love story alongside Scarlet Witch, and was tragically destroyed by Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. In WandaVision, Vision made a return through magic and grief, but now as a ghostly white android. Terry Metalis, the acclaimed showrunner of Star Trek Picard, is leading the charge on this new series, which is currently referred to as Vision Quest, though that isn't the official title. The show will follow White Vision's quest for a new purpose and identity. Ultron's return raises intriguing questions, given that he appeared to be destroyed at the end of Age of Ultron. Fans will be eager to see how Ultron re-emerges and interacts with Vision, who was created from the remains of Stark's AI Jarvis after Ultron's failed plans. Get ready for a thrilling new chapter in the legendary Alien franchise. Fede Alvarez's highly anticipated Alien Romulus is set to make a massive splash with a projected $45 million opening weekend, fueled by enthusiastic reviews and significant buzz. Alvarez, known for his gripping 2016 horror hit Don't Breathe, is not just stopping with this film, he's already sparking excitement with hints of a possible Alien vs Predator crossover. But here's the twist, Alvarez might team up with his close collaborator Dan Trachtenberg, who directed the critically acclaimed 2022 Predator prequel, Prey. The duo might recreate the magic of Tarantino and Rodriguez's collaboration on From Dusk Till Dawn, with Alvarez directing one part and Trachtenberg tackling the other. Alien Romulus has already exceeded expectations, grossing an impressive $108.2 million worldwide. With such a strong opening, discussions about a sequel are already in full swing. Alvarez has shared that he has intriguing ideas for continuing the story of Rain and Andy, though he's keeping specifics under wraps. His approach focuses on delivering compelling narratives rather than just churning out sequels. Alvarez's philosophy is to make audiences eagerly anticipate the next chapter, similar to the seven-year gap between Alien and Aliens. Stay tuned to Alien vs. Predator Galaxy for the latest updates and exclusive insights into this thrilling new installment and the exciting future of the franchise.
In 2019, Paramount Pictures unleashed a heart-pounding animal horror hit with Crawl, which captivated audiences worldwide and raked in over $90 million at the box office. The suspenseful tale featuring a terrifying mix of hurricane chaos and ravenous alligators was a thrilling success. Now fans of the first film can look forward to more as Crawl 2 is officially in development, and the director is back. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Alexander Aja, the mastermind behind the original Crawl, is set to return to the director's chair for the sequel. Aja's signature touch, known for his work on High Tension, The Hills Have Eyes, and Piranha 3D, promises to bring the same gripping intensity to Crawl 2. The screenplay is being penned by Andrew Deutschman and Jason Pagan, the writers behind Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension, and Project Almanac. This time, the action will shift from the swamps of Florida to the sewers of New York City, where the alligators are ready to terrorize the urban landscape. Filming is set to commence in Europe later this year, with a potential release in 2025. Producers Sam Raimi, who also worked on the original, and Alexandra Aja will bring their expertise to the sequel. Stay tuned as Crawl 2 promises to dive into new, chilling depths of horror. Exciting news is buzzing from the Marvel Universe. While concrete details about Tom Holland's new Spider-Man adventure remain under wraps, tantalizing rumors about Spider-Man 4 are heating up. According to World of Real, Marvel and Sony are eyeing the multiverse once again for the next blockbuster. This could set the stage for an epic crossover between Peter Parker and Tom Hardy's Venom, or even introduce the Sinister Six and Kraven the Hunter. With Kraven's solo film set to hit theaters on December 13th, the pieces are falling into place. Originally, production for the sequel to the hit 2021 film No Way Home was slated to kick off in late September. However, the lack of a finalized script and an unconfirmed director's chair suggest this timeline might be ambitious. Rumors are swirling that Sam Raimi, renowned for his beloved Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire and his successful MCU debut with Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, might be at the helm. While nothing is confirmed, Raimi's involvement would undoubtedly stir excitement among fans. Tom Holland and Zendaya are confirmed to reprise their roles as Peter Parker and MJ, however Zendaya's packed schedule, including the drama with Robert Pattinson, the final season of Euphoria, and potential involvement in Dune Messiah might pose scheduling challenges. Despite these hurdles, Marvel is pushing forward with a planned release date of July 2026. Stay tuned for more updates as this exciting project develops. Exciting updates are on the horizon for fans of the Batman universe. While James Gunn's DC Universe is set to introduce a new Batman in The Brave and the Bold, Matt Reeves' continuation of his Batman saga, The Batman Part 2, is forging ahead under the DC Elseworlds banner. Director Matt Reeves recently took to Twitter to confirm he's deeply engaged in working on The Batman Part 2. Although he took a brief pause for the theatrical re-release of The Batman, Reeves assured fans that progress on the sequel is steadily advancing. There haven't been major casting announcements yet, but fans can expect updates as the end of the year approaches. At San Diego Comic-Con, while The Batman Part 2 didn't have its own panel, Reeves discussed the forthcoming spin-off series The Penguin. He confirmed that Colin Farrell will reprise his role as Oswald Cobblepot, offering a bridge between the first film and the sequel. This series will explore the power vacuum left in Gotham after Carmine Falcone's death. Reeves also revealed that filming for The Batman Part 2 is slated to begin in early 2025, a shift from the previously reported November 2023 start due to delays caused by the 2023 Hollywood strikes. The additional time is being used to refine the script. With production on track for the new release date, anticipation for The Batman Part 2 continues to build. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.